Tutorial 7, Part 2, Steady State Diffusion and Fixed First Law. First, we define diffusion flux. Diffusion flux is defined as mass or atoms diffused through a unit cost sectional area per unit of time. Diffusion flux J has a unit of kg per m square times time is equal to mass over area of the normal plane times the elapsed time. Fixed first law, steady state diffusion. Steady state diffusion states that the diffusion flux does not change with time and the concentration gradient and concentration profile remain unchanged. For steady state diffusion to happen within a plate, two sides of that plate must maintain constant concentration to have a steady state diffusion within the plate. If the concentration is not, not a constant, that means the concentration gradient is not a constant, and Therefore, the diffusion, the steady state diffusion won't happen. Concentration gradient is defined as difference in concentration between two points over distance between these two points. And it is equal to dc over dx. C is a concentration and x is a position. You can see the equation in the picture here. Also, by this definition, it can be defined as the concentration gradient is a slope of concentration versus the distance graph. And based on the definition here, fixed first law, J, J is the diffusion flux, is equal to negative times a constant d, d is a dis diffusivity or diffusion coefficient which is dependent on temperature and times dc over dx. dc over dx is the concentration gradient or the slope of concentration versus distance graph. The minus sign it is because the concentration gradient, gradient is negative and a fixed first law is only applicable in diffusion under static state condition. That means the diffusion is invariant with respect to time. Diffusivity d can be expressed as d equals to d log. d log is a constant times e to the power negative qd over lt. QD is the activation energy, R is gas constant, T is the temperature of that species. Therefore, D is related to the following factors. Material species, activation energy or energy barrier, and temperature. And the unit of D is m square over second. Therefore, based on the equation stated in the last slide. For a larger diffusivity, the diffusion flux will be larger. Consider the following example. D log is this value, 6.2 times 10 to the power minus 7. QD is equal to 80 QJ per mole. And calculate diffusivity at the temperature equal to 30 degrees. By the equation stated in the last slide, using R is equal to 8.31 J per K per mole, which is the gas constant. And actually, you can find the value in your calculator. And be careful of the unit. Plug in the number, and we get D is equal to D log times 
e to the power eighty q joule is equal to eighty thousand joule per mole. Gas constant times temperature in Kelvin scale, not in Celsius scale. Therefore, d is equal to this value, and pay special attention to units. There are several factors affect the diffusivity, d. Different material diffuse atom combination will have a different diffuse coefficient. And it is because for different combinations, there is different host atom and diffuse atom size combination. And also crystal structure is different. And therefore, their diffuse coefficient must be different. For temperature, higher temperature implies a higher kinetic energy for the diffusion atoms, and therefore, there will be a higher diffusion rate in both mechanism, vacancy mechanism and the interstitial mechanism. For activation energy, for lower activation energy, obviously the diffusion rate will be higher. It is both both are uh, is both learned from our experience and also states in the equation for the diffusivity. Let's have another example to talk about the steady state diffusion, which the example is from the book here. The diffusion coefficient d or the diffusivity d at 900 degrees Celsius is given here. The diffusion coefficient for nitrogen in steel at this temperature is 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 10 meters square over a second. And therefore, we don't need to calculate the restative d in 900 degrees Celsius. And the diffusion flux j is also given to be 1 times 10 to the power negative 7. And the concentration at the surface C log is 2 kg per meter cube, which is here. And the high temperature surface is 2 kJ per m cube. And the concentration at distant x, Cx, is the 0.5 kg per meter cube, which is here. And using the equation of fixed first law, J is equal to negative D times DC dx. DC dx is the concentration gradient. And as we want to find x, the distance from the concentration at surface to the desired concentration, which is 0.5 kg meter cube per meter cube. We just plug in the value. Use the definition of concentration gradient or definition of slope of a line, which is here written here. We are we are the term and plug in the value. We given that we can find that x is equal to zero point zero zero and one eight meter, and the answer is one point eight millimeter and one discussion can be made is if the x find is bigger than the actual thickness of this piece of steel that implies no points within that piece of steel can have a exact required concentration which is 2.5 kJ per meter cube based on the calculation shown here. Another example from the book. A sheet of BCC iron 2 mm thick was exposed to a carbonizing gas atmosphere or at, at one side and a decarbonizing atmosphere on the other side at 675 degrees Celsius. After having reached steady state, 
the iron was quickly cooked to the room temperature. The carbon concentration at the two surfaces of the sheet were determined to be 2.015 and 2.0068 weight percent. Compute the diffusion coefficient if the diffusion flux is 7.36 times 10 to the power negative 9 kJ per meter square per second. As that, the weight percentage is used for the carbon density. So we need to convert the weight percentage to concentration, the normal unit for concentration. As using an equation from the textbook, concentration is equal to weight percentage of species A over the weight percentage of species A over density of A plus weight percentage of species B over density B. C dot, C dot is the concentration of carbon at one point. It is equal to 0 0.015 over 2.015 over density of A. The density of carbon is 2.25 plus 100 minus 2.015 percentage. As there is only two species within this steel, one is carbon and another, another one is iron. Therefore, the weight percentage for iron will be 100% minus 2.015% over 6.87. 6.87 is the density for iron. And we got C lot is equal to this value. Convert the unit, we have this value. Using a similar approach for CX, we find that CX is equal to this value. And the distance between these two concentrations is equal to X minus X log is equal to 2.022 meter. Using this equation here, J is given and CX minus C log is given. X, X minus X log is also given. We get D, which is the diffusion coefficient or diffusivity, is equal to this value. 